What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys regarding some brand new sets that are coming very, very soon. And I am very excited to get into them. You guys remember last time we covered Elite Series 71, 2, 3, and 4. And it turned out that Elite 72 had some legitimacy. The figures that they listed on their site, that was correct. You know, they, they posted it up to social media. It turned out to be correct. This was before, you know, they were uh, released to the public and things of that nature. And Elite Series 73 had had some figures that were confirmed for Elite 73. Elite 74, uh, they have not announced these just yet, but they did have um, some figures announced by Ringside that, that ended up being in that set as well, and it seems so far that it is turning out. So take what you will from this. It is subject to change. You know, these lineups could change, but I do have some pretty good validity behind these claims. So let's go ahead and get into Elite Series 75, guys. Starting out first, we have Seth Rollins, we have Jeff Hardy, and we have Pete Dunne. Now, this is very interesting to me you know i feel like elite series 75 is a little bit a ways but you know it is it isn't you know too crazy to get into it and sort of spitball ideas on what these could be i still think that all those figures we saw at san diego comic-con i think that a lot of those figures are going to fit in here somewhere and that is definitely true you know we have a lot of figures that have not yet been seen or plugged into a line just yet so breaking down Elite Series 75, guys, first up we have Seth Rollins, and the only Elite Seth Rollins that we really saw at San Diego Comic-Con besides the Elite 70 Seth Rollins with the shield attire, you guys know with the vest and all that good jazz with the top talent's head scalped on it. The only other Rollins that we saw was the Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins, and I do not know how, like, to me, I mean, I guess this, is, this could be it, but this Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins is the only Rollins that we saw at San Diego Comic-Con, and you know, it has the brand new head sculpt, and it looks really good i'm actually really excited for this figure however i feel like that's so far away like uh, we're about to get elite series 72 by the time that the royal rumble rolls around royal rumble 2020 that was probably about the time that elite 75 could be coming out maybe a little bit after the royal rumble so it would kind i guess it would kind of be accurate you guys know that sometimes we get figures eight months in advance sometimes we get them before they actually even wear it you guys know that they've been contacting talent getting in touch what well, we saw this with the mustafa ali chase variant we saw this with the mustafa ali elite 69 and the yellow attire and we did see this with the recent elite 72 velveteen dream they released that figure and then literally the week after we saw the figure velveteen dream rocks that terrible attire so getting the Royal Rumble attire a year after he wore it isn't the biggest deal. Again, we've seen that before, but they are getting better and better at getting those figures out way sooner than we even see them. So, I mean, that's that's definitely really amazing. I think that is amazing that Mattel can do that, and that is a freaking props to them getting in touch with talent and telling them, you know, what they're going to be wearing and getting it way in advance. I think that's freaking awesome. So uh, I think that if this is the, you know, the Elite 75 Rollins, if this turns out to be legitimate, um, I'm excited for it. I think the head sculpt looks amazing, and that's that's another thing I want to get into. If you guys haven't seen the updated images, this was posted up by Ringside. They have new images of the basics. If this wasn't posted by Ringside, I know that this is Ringside's photos, but D Freedom 30 on Instagram posted this, and it's an amazing update on the brand. This is the final look at the Basic Series 102 Seth Rollins. I freaking love this head sculpt. I think it's great. I think it may even be better than the top talents that we always love. I think this is a beautiful Seth Rollins. They updated the color, and they fixed Fixed it a little bit. You know, it's not as just bland. It actually looks like it has some life to the face. Again, it doesn't have all the life to the face, but it definitely looks better than it did. And they, you know, they updated the color. It's dark and it's, you know, the darker brown slash black color. And it looks way better. I am freaking hyped for this head sculpt. I cannot wait to get my hands on this Seth Rollins head sculpt. We're, we thought we had it made with the top talents. Well, this head sculpt's even better. So it's going to be freaking epic. So I'm really happy for that Rollins. But that is what I'm thinking for Elite 75 Seth Rollins. Next up, we have Jeff Hardy. And we don't know what this is going to look like, but I am glad we're getting another Jeff Hardy. You know, we got it in Elite Series 71 with the pink attire. There's no telling what this could be, but I would hope it would be a flashback because, you know, we, we've had plenty of modern day Jeff Hardys. It's time to dip into the modern, or the flashback back, guys. It's time to get back into the flashbacks, maybe the late 90s, early 2000s for Jeff Hardy. I would like to see that. Um, maybe 2002, 2003, somewhere in there would be really, really sweet. So I would really appreciate to get a Jeff Hardy around that era. But any Jeff Hardy is cool with me. One of my faves of all time. I will definitely appreciate any Jeff Hardy 
Hardy Elite, and I know they'll kill it with the towel and the face paint and the heads. If if it's an earlier Jeff Hardy, then uh, maybe we can get like some extra accessories or something. But coming in last for Elite 75 that we have so far is Pete Dunne, and we did see this Pete Dunne at San Diego Comic Con. It's the black and gold attire, and it looks really good. I like this one a lot. I cannot wait to see what this updated head sculpt looks like. I think the true effects. You know how we always love the Elite 64 Pete Dunne, the Target exclusive or whatever the case it was, the collector's edition figure. I think that this one's going to be even better. I think they're going to nail the true effects with the beard and the mouth guard and the eyes and the longer hair. It's going to be freaking sweet. I, th I think this is going to be epic, and I cannot wait for this. So Elite Series 75 is looking pretty good, man. Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, Pete Dunne. I'm sure they'll round out that series with some really good figures, and we don't know again what the rest of the series looks like, but we can confirm. I mean, I know that we haven't seen the Jeff Hardy figure, but we can confirm that there was a Pete Dunne shown at San Diego Comic-Con. There was a Seth Rollins shown, so this is definitely somewhere we could see it. Again, that, that Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins, that could be the top talents elite. Uh, 2020 Seth Rollins. So that is not, you know, that, that may not be the Elite 75. We may not even know what the Elite 75 looks like just yet, but if it's not that, we know that we're going to get that Royal Rumble 2019 Rollins regardless if it's Elite 75 or the Elite Top Talents 2020. So moving on into some basic figures, guys, we have Basic Series 102, and for Basic Series 102, we have The Miz, Jeff Hardy, and Seth Rollins, and this is actually confirmed because we've seen these figures already. The Miz was confirmed, Jeff Hardy is in the light blue, and then Seth Rollins is the Thanos attire that we just talked about with that head sculpt. That is what Elite Series, or Basic Series 102 looks like. Basic Series 103 is Becky Lynch, and I think that Becky Lynch is the one that we saw with the WrestleMania 36 Kofi Kingston in the last video. We talked about the Mania 36 Kofi Kingston with the hairline problem. Uh, I think that's that Becky Lynch that we saw on display. We have the Matt Riddle, which we saw the Matt Riddle on display at, San not on display, at San Diego Comic-Con. We saw that Matt Riddle. The render image looks really, really good. Really excited for Matt Riddle. Um, I really want an elite figure, but you know what? It's it's okay, I guess. You know, a lot of people have customs out there that he's actually kind of really easy to make. So all he needs is the head sculpt. Once we get the head sculpt, um, we're not going to need an elite for a little bit because you can easily make a Matt Riddle, and if you need help making a Matt Riddle, I can give you the formula down in the comment section below. It's actually a pretty simple custom, uh, but this is uh, this is definitely going to be a freaking beast mode. When we get that Matt Riddle figure in here, we head swap it onto our custom elites. It's going to make it look even better. Uh, Kofi Kingston, we do know what that's going to look like most likely. We saw it at Comic-Con as well. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. Nothing too crazy. I do like the head sculpt, a brand new Kofi K uh, Kingston head sculpt. Basic attires at this point, guys, they just look so cartoony. So the only reason you should ever buy a basic, in my personal opinion, would be for a head swap or a fix up, but they they kind of run expensive, man. So it's kind of difficult. But um, you know, it's it's difficult to buy full basic waves, especially when elite waves are coming and going these days so quickly. Uh, but that is it for Kofi Kingston. Brock Lesnar, we don't know what it looks like, but it'll probably be really standard unless we get an epic-ass head sculpt, which I would really appreciate. I feel like we haven't had a good Brock head sculpt in a little bit, so I'd like to see that. AJ Styles, again, basic 103 AJ Styles. I don't know if we've seen this figure just yet, but I hope we get a new head sculpt. I'd like to see a new AJ Styles head sculpt instead of the same one that we've seen over and over. Wouldn't be a big deal if we didn't get a new AJ Styles head sculpt, but I appreciate it, obviously. Moving on to basic 104, guys, we have Keith Lee, and we saw this basic render at Comic con again. I think this figure is going to be great. I do not know exactly how we're going to make a custom elite Keith Lee based on the parts we've gotten before. I can't think of anybody. Maybe Junkyard Dog's torso would be okay for that. I really do not know. Um, I'd have to like do some hardcore research because I feel like everybody that we've gotten in that skin tone is going to be um, more like muscular and not as like you know big like Keith Lee big so I guess we're just gonna have to play that out and see but if I can figure out a formula I will definitely let you guys know if you guys want to make a Keith Lee custom Randy Orton hope we get a new head sculpt for that I think that would be fantastic Rey Mysterio we don't know what these look like again so I'm just kind of spitballing but Rey Mysterio he his basics are always uh, I don't know the new basics haven't looked very good for Rey Mysterio so I'm not too optimistic about that but maybe we'll get a cool head sculpt out of that if I had to guess it would probably be the smiling head sculpt that we saw for Elite Series 72 Rey Mysterio, but it'll probably be um, either a modern or a flashback Rey Mysterio, obviously, because that's the only two choices that we have. Moving on, Daniel Bryan. If I had to guess for Daniel Bryan, it will probably be the Elite 73 head sculpt that we took a look at the other day. You guys know, like, the really, really good Daniel Bryan head sculpt. I'm sure that's what that basic 104 figure will have on it. So maybe it'll be the Mania attire or something.
something. I'm not sure. That would be really cool. Or they're going to save that for the Mania Wave, but we've already seen those Mania Basics. So I guess it'll be maybe further down the line for that Daniel Bryan figure for WrestleMania 35. Moving on to Basic 105, guys. We have Roman Reigns, Ronda Rousey, and John Cena. Again, all I really care about with these figures for the Basics is their head sculpts. I hope we get either really good head sculpts, either you know a re-release of a really good head sculpt or a brand new really good head sculpt. And I think that's what you know people really want out of out of these basics it's basics are practically statues now so it's like you know back in the day you could arm swap things and you could use the knee pads for stuff. I guess you could still use the knee pads, but the main thing for basics nowadays is to, you know, if you really don't care about articulation or you just want to head swap something, that is the reason you would collect basics, I think. Unless you really like a superstar, say I'm a big Roman Reigns fan, I just want to grab all the Roman Reigns figures, then I guess that is something you would like to do, but for me, mainly, it is all about head sculpts when it comes to the basic figures, so hopefully all three of these guys have good head sculpts. And then rounding out our action figure news, guys, and rounding out all the series, we have Basic Series 106, and this is Finn Balor, Triple H, R-Truth, and Johnny Gargano. I think the only figure out of these four that we saw was R-Truth, but with Finn Balor, I would guess it would be the two-pack elite set, you know, that we got with Finn Balor and AJ Styles. I would hope it would be that smiling head sculpt or maybe a brand new, you know, pissed off head sculpt. Maybe it'll be the Elite 70 or the Ultimate Edition pissed off Finn, ba Finn Balor head sculpt with the skin tone painted instead of the demon paint. Or it'll be a demon basic or it'll be the smiling head sculpt that we just saw with the two-pack elite set with AJ Styles. Uh, Triple H, I would guess it'd be the Elite 73 Triple H that we just saw from WrestleMania 34 where he battled with uh, Shane, or not Shane McMahon, Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey and his wife Stephanie. That would be a cool basic to have, I guess, a rehash of that same Elite head scan that's coming in Elite Series 73. Again, we talked about our truth That's the only figure we think we've seen the render for, which is basically the going to be the Elite 78 our truth which is so far down the line. Absolutely ridiculous that we're going to have to wait that long, but maybe they'll fix that. I'm not sure. And then we have Johnny Gargano slash Johnny Football here, and I'm excited for this one. I would guess that it'd be a re-release re of the Elite 70 Johnny Gargano head sculpt that we got with the, you know, the Spider-Man Venom attire that he wore, and I'm guessing that's what, I don't think that'll be the attire we get, but that will be the head sculpt that we get on that figure. Could be wrong, but that is most likely going to be it, but I think that is all the WWE action figure news that I have for you guys. Again, we have Elite Series 75 featuring Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, Pete Dunne. We have Basic Series 102 that we already know is coming with The Miz, Jeff Hardy, and that excellent uh, Seth Rollins head sculpt. We have Basic Series 103 with Becky Lynch, Matt Riddle, Kofi Kingston, Brock Lesnar, and AJ Styles. We have Basic Series 104 with Keith Lee, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, and Daniel Bryan. We have Basic 105 with Roman Reigns, Ronda Rousey, and John Cena. And we have Basic Series 106, Finn Balor, Triple H, R-Truth, and Johnny Gargano, Johnny Football, Johnny Johnny, do it all. But I think that's going to do it for all of the WWE action figure news, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions or any, you know, things you want to inquire about down in the comment section below, please let me know. I would be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Uh, what do you think about the new Seth Rollins head sculpt? I think I, I freaking love this head sculpt, man. I think it's freaking excellent. Just epicness. I love this Seth Rollins head sculpt. I actually have a custom idea for it that uh, we will get into once it's time, but I am super happy with that Seth Rollins head sculpt. And I am just uh, ready to go, man. So anyways, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.